Today I want to show you how to make a very classic and traditional Greek dish for roast potatoes and beef patties in the oven or bifteca sto furno me patates. It's going to be done with a beautiful tomato sauce. It's going to be just done to absolute perfection and it's one of my all-time favorite dishes. So first things first, we're going to preheat our oven 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius. Get that off and going and get that out of the way. For the potato part of this, I am using about two to three pounds of potatoes and I've split it between regular white potatoes and sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. Love cooking with them. Very easy, very healthy. I'm just going to take those and just throw them into my pan. Now, here's the thing. Be very careful when you're cooking with sweet potatoes or you're cutting sweet potatoes because they're a lot more dense than the regular potato and it's very easy to have an accident. Now I'm just going to take my potatoes and half them. Nothing to this at all. And this is one of these meals that you can make on a weekend, on a weeknight. It takes less than two hours from start to finish, which isn't too bad. And it's full of flavor. Now, here's the thing with this meal. This is one of these things as well that you can make in advance and reheat. Very, very easy. So, here we have our potatoes, white and sweet ready to go. We don't need to do anything to these right now because all the flavor is going to be in the sauce and from our biftekia. So I'm going to move this out of the way here and bring the star of our show which is our lean ground beef. For this I'm using two pounds of lean ground beef and with the help of my mini me food processor I'm going to bring up the flavor profile. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take an onion and quarter it basically in this thing or maybe even smaller because it's really not that big and just enough for it to kind of get your pieces in there. I'm going to go heavy on the garlic. I'm going to do about four cloves of garlic. It's fantastic. It's, it really is. I'm going to take a little bit of parsley and I'm going to throw this in there as well. Stocks and all, don't worry about it. Now to help lube this up here, I'm going to take a little bit of my Greek extra virgin olive oil and I'm going to put in here maybe uh, three, four good tablespoons or glugs of my olive oil, just like that. And it's going to help turn that into almost like a paste. Perfect. Just like that. Next thing to go in into our flavor is two teaspoons of cumin are going to go in here. I'm going to take three of my basil bombs. I'll include a link on how to make these. This is basically frozen basil that I've used, uh, that I've frozen over from last summer. Three mint bombs are going to go into this because you can't have a bifteki or a Greek uh, burger patty without mint. It just doesn't work. Now, in the event that you don't have flavor bombs like I do, you're looking at approximately one tablespoon of dried uh, mint, one tablespoon of dried basil for this. And that's what will give you the flavor count here. So I'm going to take this out, take out this, and just add this in. This is what's going to flavor our, our patties, our meat patties. So I'm going to take an egg, crack it in here for a little binder, throw that just like that. And from here, all I'm going to do is add little bit of salt. Actually, you can go a little heavier on the salt. It's a lot of meat here. You got a little of my black pepper. I love black pepper. So when I use, when I say I use a little black pepper, 
it's really not that little. Now, at this stage of the game here too, if you chose to, you can actually uh, add a little sriracha sauce, some chili to this, spice up the heat. In my case, I'm not, I'm just gonna leave it just like that. And no time like the present to just start mixing this up. And there is no better tool in the kitchen than just your hands. All right, that's perfect, just like that. So, leave this here. I'm gonna bring my, my pan here with my potatoes. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make generous patties. So roughly about that size, give or take. And you put them on top of the potatoes. And that's what's gonna give you the, the additional flavors for the potatoes is the actual rendering down of the beef fat and all these flavors. So just make them with the nice healthy patties like that. Isn't this like fun? I love this. This is real traditional Greek cooking. Uh, simple and super, super, super delicious. So keep this rolling here and I'm gonna fit as many as I possibly can. So, one more here. So I'm gonna make six generous patties, and that's like absolutely fantastic. This is the name of the game here, just like that. Look at this, fantastic. So this goes in there. It's time for me to put my sauce together for our uh, bifteca and our potatoes. So, let me just leave that here. Take a bowl, very simply. I'm gonna crack some posada over this. If you ever broke the bottle, it makes it that much easier. So put that in there just like that. Perfect. I'm gonna take a little bit of olive oil, goes in there just like that. I'm going to take a little bit of tomato paste. I'm gonna do about a tablespoon of tomato paste because I want that rich tomato-y uh, flavor and color. That's going to go in there. Perfect. Just like that. A little more salt. You need salt. Can't do without the salt. And that's perfect. Just like that. Nothing to this at all. Now, take a little bit of water maybe half a cup and all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a whisk and just whisk the tomato sauce um, so th that way the salt, the pepper and everything else incorporates. That's it. The main flavoring of our sauce will actually get picked up by the rendered down uh, seasonings of our biftekia. That's perfect. So going to take this let me just move this out of the way so you can get a better picture and look at that look how gorgeous that is perfect that is absolutely perfect just like that get a little of this goodness there perfect just like that this is pretty much ready to go now Take a little bit of our Greek extra virgin olive oil. Just grizzle this over top, just like that. I'm going to grab a little bit of my oregano, my Greek oregano here, which is absolutely fantastic. And just drizzle over your sauce, just like that over each patty. And it'll give an, another layer of flavor. And that's perfect. So this, my friends, now will go into our 400 degree oven for about an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half until your patties are completely cooked through and through and your potatoes are fork tender. All right, and now the moment of truth. One and a half hours later, this is what we have. My house, I, they should bottle the scent. It is so amazing. I'm just going to grab 
little fork here and uh, get the show on the road. My bifteka, my Greek beef burgers are done perfectly. The potatoes are crispy on the outside. And if you look on the inside, they're literally, they're literally like mashed, they're almost like mashed potatoes or they're like baked potatoes. So I was going to give this a little quick little whiz here. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's just a potato. Take a little piece of the, uh, take a little piece of the beef burger, which is done to absolute perfection. Look, don't expect any like medium, medium rare burgers here. It's Greek food. Like we cook the shit out of everything. It's like just the way it is. Mmm. Mmm. Absolutely perfect. Oh my God. So good. Absolutely so delicious. Everything is done. All the flavors have incorporated. All the seasonings and herbs of our biftekia have like oozed out and gone into our potatoes. It's absolutely magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. The cumin, the the garlic, the onion, the parsley, the the mint, the basil, the oregano on top of the burgers, the tomato sauce is all just married and become one harmonious joy. Oh my gosh. So my friends, that's it for this episode on my Greek burgers and potatoes in the oven in tomato sauce with potatoes. And in my case, I've also put sweet potatoes. Fantastic dish. Please try this. It's going to be a hit. And you know what? Perfect for any day, any time. So, hope you liked this video. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe as well if you haven't already. Also, check me out online at kensgreektable.com. And as always, I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.